Hello Internet, Dave here and welcome to part 2 of the Devon County Show recordings. Uh, as you can see we are watching some donkeys being un unloaded. We were quite early to the show and we were having so much fun uh, watching these lovely little donkeys from the Donkey Sanctuary uh, being put into their uh, day enclosure for people to visit. The uh, Donkey Sanctuary adopts donkeys from all over the world once they have been overworked, abandoned and abused and rehabilitates them in a lush things. I thought I heard something and it was just a dog or There. I hope that you enjoy the second part. I'll do probably some commentary about some bits in a bit on the video. I hope that you enjoy the second part. So the donkeys are now in and are settling down to have some munchies. Here we have an Exmoor mare and her little foal. Uh, they are here to highlight the Exmoor ponies and their importance to the Exmoor, which is a moor to the north of uh, Devon. They are a quite small breed. They were used for mining and pulling carts. I wanted to say hello, but mummy and baby didn't want to say hello to me. So at the moment, me and Dr. Sylvian have now entered the cow shed. Lots of different breeds of cow and different types of cow, not only milk cows and beef cows, but the mixture hybrid ones as well. Uh, so many different breeds that I can't name them all. We want to say a little to some of them. They're all quite comfortable, standing up, laying down, going to sleep, snoring their heads off like that black one there. 
Uh, cows can be more than just black and white. Not only do they have heifers, they also have bulls. The bullocks are normally uh, bigger ones than the heifers, and you can tell by the just general girth and size of the beast. That, and they've got danglies. Little <laughs> coffee. Gorgeous bull is a winner of the yes. best in breed yes. competition. Just look at the size of him, yes. the unique patterning of his yes. uh, <laughs> uh, back and all that. Looks like Elsa's touched him. And now moving on to see some cow more cow. of the lovely cow. Yes, cow cow. Somebody's given up over here. Gorgeous. Yeah. 
is specific in your pen. Sorry? Specific. Then. He doesn't, he doesn't do that. He likes, he likes spreading his happiness across as far as he can get it. Yeah. He's always the same. Yeah. You can all snore. Oh, I bet. I bet. Oh, what? Huh? Right, boy. We're, we're only talking about you. It's Phoenix. Ah. You're gorgeous, aren't you? Not gonna do that, not gonna hurt you. Yeah. No. That's a good boy. You gonna stand up or are you gonna lay back down? I'm going to. Um, no. Gonna, 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 gonna lay there. Phoenix, eh? National champion. Yeah. I like the little rugby bit. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Like that. Some mummies and the babies all tuckered out and with nowhere to go. Oh, they're so cute. Some bees now, some honeybees. This is what a hive would look like if it's inside a tree, a hollow tree. The bees will naturally create this wax to dangle down like this uh, so they, they, they can get multiple bees past each other at the same time. Uh, Doc Silvan's in control of the camera at the moment, getting some nice close ups of the bees. Whereas, you know, in, um, with the honey, so this brings us to the end of part two of the Devon County Show visit. I hope that you enjoyed. Don't forget to follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Parts three and four shall be up soon. Part three will be a gun dog display, and part four will be a sheep shearing contest, which I highly recommend that you watch. Until next time, stay. Knowledge is power. We must use it wisely. Okay,